It is great to have you back on my channel, Coin Lady. I have an idea that might add trillions of dollars to the XRP ledger, and I want to share it with you. Jumping over to a recent interview I had the pleasure of conducting with Graham Rodford, CEO and co-founder of our Chax, a firm that is likely the most advanced when it comes to tokenizing physical assets, we will dig deeper. Some funds, including BlackRock's ICS and Aberdeen's Money Market Funds, have already been tokenized and put on the blockchain, and we'll be discussing Money Market Funds in particular, as they pertain to being integrated into blockchain and utilized for payments by platforms such as Ripple, a true pioneer in distributed ledger payment systems. Additionally, the current size of the money market, or fund market, is somewhere around $6.6 .6 trillion in the US alone. I also believe that money market funds might be on board to use XRP as a payment method, and that this will eventually be tokenized. Graham Rodford, who didn't explicitly state that XRP and Ripple will accomplish this, did mention that it was something he found intriguing and is considering studying with Ripple, and naturally, XRPL. Thus, in this video, we will explore everything in detail. Hey there, this is a special one. Since we were the ones who conduct the interview, no one else has access to it. Please have a look at the description, as we have included a link to the complete interview. Graham is an incredibly bright man. We were naturally eager to talk about the recent announcement, but it was a delight to have him on the show and I look forward to working with him again in the future. And this was announced by our tax department, so our Jax and Ripple are continuing their collaboration. Over the next few years, they plan to add hundreds of millions of dollars worth of tokenized real-world assets to XRPL. I really think our tax department is playing down this amount, hundreds of millions of dollars. It could end up costing trillions of dollars down the road, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. When it comes to tokenization, I think our checks are much ahead of the curve. Tokenization of BlackRock ICS, US Treasury, and money market funds is already visible on our checks. Another example is their money market fund, which resembles Sterling and is tokenized by Aberdeen, the biggest hedge fund in the UK, or the biggest fund manager in the country. The fact that BlackRock is Aberdeen's biggest shareholder is also intriguing. Aberdeen was a major backer of our checks. As a result, two of the most prominent hedge fund managers in the United Kingdom and the United States are among our most ardent supporters, along with Aberdeen. Naturally, they have just integrated Ripple, which could let them to utilize these tokenized money market funds for settlements and payments, something Graham didn't explicitly mention, but surely hinted at. Ripple is basically rethinking the way we think about payments and the type of financial system, which is the most intriguing and revolutionary aspect of their work. In addition, I firmly think that Ripple and XRP will be pivotal in the future of finance. In our most recent XRP video, we featured Augustus Carlson, basically Augustine Carlson, the former head of the BIS, discussing the future of the internet and the value-based web that distributed ledgers will inevitably make possible. And when we talk about potentially trillions of dollars coming in, that's just the US alone, the global figure is much larger. For example, if we could find a way to tokenize money market funds, and we'll get to the clip of grain in a second, there are a lot of reasons to do this, including as a supplement to or replacement for cash. In this case, $6.4 trillion could be tokenized. If this is the key that unlocks the door, XRP and its ledger might bring in trillions of dollars. This is only one example of how I envision XRP being put to use. The announcement of the Ripple stablecoin is something that we are fully aware of and consider to be quite significant. Without a doubt, money market funds remind me of the Wall Street Journal article. I can't quite place it where they discussed how the United States may address its debt crisis by utilizing digital ledgers and issuing stablecoins to purchase existing obligations. You could say the same thing about money market funds, after all, many of these products are really just debt instruments. I find this to be a really intriguing development, together with the positioning of Ripple, 
the presence of AR Tax Link, and the good fortune to have recently interviewed Grand Rod 4. I believe Marjax is absolutely, positively worth delving into. Therefore, I would want to examine our real checks very briefly. This means that we are the first cryptocurrency exchange in the UK to conduct checks. They are multi-talented, that makes them regulated, at least to some extent. Hedera, Algorand, and XRP are just a few of the blockchains that they incorporate. I believe that XRP and Graham's potential use case is more in serving as a vehicle for tokenizer assets than in actually tokenizing themselves. Forget about it, if you will, because this has always been my vision for XRP and its intended function, to serve as the intermediary asset. And I truly believe that you will witness volumes of trillions of dollars passing through that. Naturally, this would be in line with our expectations for a surge in 2017, and activating XRP would be in line with those expectations as well. You were in this very same position before your big run, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think it's too lengthy, which is why we will keep covering XRP and, naturally, Ripple. Now that we've given a little background, let's get into this clip of Graham discussing their collaboration with Ripple. Of course, they make use of Medico, and they're also bringing up the intriguing idea of using money market funds, which we know are at the forefront of XRP's tokenization for payments as a whole, or as a sort of worldwide payment leader. Feel free to give my channel a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you soon.